Today we will discuss one of my favorite topic that is evaporation. What is evaporation? The spontaneous escape of the high energy molecules from the liquid surface into the vapor state is called evaporation. Or simply we can say that evaporation is a process of the change of the liquid to a gaseous state below its boiling point. Remember that evaporation is a surface phenomena and it takes place at all temperature below the boiling point. All the molecules in the liquid do not possess equal energies at any temperature, so they move with different velocities. When the high energy molecules hit the molecules on the surface of the liquid, they give part of their energy to the surface molecules which become able to overcome the force of attraction and thus leave the liquid surface. In this way, evaporation takes place. Factors affecting evaporation First is the intermolecular force of attraction. To understand the effect of intermolecular force of attraction on evaporation, let's perform an experiment. Pour some water in one plate and ether into another plate. After some time, you can observe that the water evaporate to a very little extent whereas the ether evaporate quickly. This is due to the strong force of attraction present between the water molecules, which hold the molecules firmly and less molecules can overcome the force of attraction and escape out of the liquid surface into the vapor or the gaseous state. Whereas the ether having the less force of attraction and the more molecules can easily overcome the force of attraction and escape into the gaseous state. That is why ether is said to be volatile. From this experiment, we conclude that more the force of attraction present between the molecules result in the less rate of evaporation. And the less or weak force of attraction between the molecule result in greater or quick evaporation. Temperature Temperature also affects the rate of evaporation. Do you observe the quick drying of the washcloths during hot sunny day? The reason is that heat increases the kinetic energy of the surface molecules of the clothes quickly and gives chance to the greater number of the molecules to escape out into the gaseous state and hence increase the rate of evaporation. Whereas in the winter, temperature is comparatively less. So less molecules can gain the chance to increase the kinetic energy and escape out to the gaseous state. Therefore, the rate of evaporation is slow during winter. From this, we conclude that temperature is directly proportional to the kinetic energy of the molecules. It means that with the increase of the temperature, the kinetic energy of the molecules increases, which result in greater rate of evaporation. Surface area Evaporation is a surface phenomena, so it depends upon the surface area. More the surface area, more will be the evaporation. For example, the water present in the glass take more time to evaporate than if we spread water on the floor. This is because the greater the surface area, greater the number of the liquid molecules have the chance to escape out into the vapor state and hence higher is the rate of evaporation. Remember that the rate of evaporation is independent of the amount of the liquid. Wind if wind is blowing, the rate of evaporation will be faster. This is because that the air blown above the surface of the liquid takes away the escaping molecules and space is made available for the other molecules. It means that the wind speed increase result in the greater amount of the water vapor escaping. As a result, the rate of evaporation increases. Humidity. Humidity is defined as the amount of the water vapor in the air. 
So with the increase of the humidity in the atmosphere, the amount of the water vapors in the atmosphere increases, so it results in lesser rate of evaporation. During the months of the August and September, the humidity in the atmosphere increases so it results in the decrease in the rate of evaporation. As a result, the air cooler causes the suffocation. Like this video and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe my channel Digital Chemistry.